today we're going to be going over a sort of follow-up video on my 2080 Ti. You can see the original unboxing in the description below. So I just want to go over a couple of FPS numbers for games and then go over sort of some benchmarks. Uh, first off we're going to do Battlefield and that one was a little bit uh, disappointing because with ray tracing on I was only getting around on average 43 FPS but it ranged between 30 and uh, 50 depending on what was going on. I mean, it looks looks good, looks all right. Later on, you can see a little bit in the fire and the fire reflects off it, which is nice, I guess, but uh, they really were sort of pushing this RTX thing when it doesn't end up being very useful in the end. That's all right. Um, uh, one thing I want to talk about real quick is the hardware has been great. I've had no problems with the, with the graphics card. Everything's fine, but the software side it really needs a lot of help. For some reason, every somebody may correct me because I don't know I'm, something I'm doing wrong or it's the software itself. But every time I attempt to use the uh, Aurora's like sort of overclocking software, it something just crashes. And I've used it. I mean, I've got to reinstall it every time I want to sort of change the overclock on the card or do anything like that. And every time I try to reopen it, it just will not open. So I'm talking to Gigabyte. I'm gonna. Hopefully find out what the is going on. We'll see. And then next up is Anthem. Uh, with Anthem, uh, ran great. It looked great. I was running on my 4K monitor. I'd be running it around 100 FPS, uh, 200 FPS, depending on what was going on. It's really a lot for that game. Kind of weird. On the 1440p monitor, sorry, 32 by 9, 1440p monitor, I pegged it at 120 FPS. Minecraft, no surprise here, on both my monitors it was well above what I would need to be in the 300 FPS range, even with max settings on everything. Uh, next is just sort of a showing on temperatures for the graphics card when it does its sort of auto overclock feature. Then after that is the uh, user benchmark score and it obviously did fantastic. And then finally is the uh, Unigen Heaven score with an FPS of 102.4 on the 4K monitor and on my uh, 1440p 32 by 9 monitor it would run it at around 120 FPS so overall fantastic speeds love the card just do not love the software and I, if you've got that cache I'd recommend it but it's really not necessary for 99% of people out there